landing and departing runway 18. Notice Chairman the Hanover NDB is out of service. All our country back hold short. I spent uh, 10 years in the Air Force, 11 years in the Air Force, and um, I got my air, air traffic control training through the Air Force. And um, when I got out of the Air Force, then I got hired by a private contract company. And um, otherwise, um, if you go into the FAA, um, they will train you, um, but you have to take all kinds of um, aptitude tests, I guess, to get in. And they're pretty selective on who they hire. So once you're in, then you would go to a facility and you would go through what they call on-the-job training. And sometimes that takes years, depending on where you're going to go. You know, like if you're going to go to Boston Center, Boston Approach, New York Center, you know, one of these really busy, busy air traffic control facilities, it could take you up to three years, you know, to get trained. And then it's just a, you know, matter of sitting down and working the traffic and you, you wind up learning it. So our job, um, not only as air traffic controllers, but we're also uh, certified weather observers. So we have to watch this machine, uh, even if there's no traffic. We occupy ourselves. With... We're, we're here for an uh, eight-hour shift, so it's not really that long. You know, it's, uh, it's a job. The running joke in air traffic control towers is it's 95% uh, boredom and 5% sheer madness. When it gets busy, it gets busy. I think our busiest hour, we've done about 40 to 50 operations in an hour. Um, generally, you know, on a slow day, we could get one. That was that. That was the whole exciting. Okay, you were here at the right time. See what I mean? It's it's ninety five percent boredom and five percent your terror. <laughs> You know, there's only five, five or six people in a small facility, so you know, so that we don't have a lot of turnover. So it's kind of hard to get one of these jobs when they come open. Whenever there's an operating control tower, um, we take charge of the airport environment. You know, this this facility is open seven days a week from six in the morning till ten. So um, our busiest peak traffic periods are probably from 10 to 5 or 4. Um, that's what most of our traffic is. We have um, a lot of corporate jets that come in here. They, they uh, support you know, Dartmouth College, uh, Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Facility, some of the corporations around here. Um, and so that's, you know, we have a lot of corporate jets uh, we have uh, Cape Air, that's our commercial airline. They fly to Boston, I think, four or five times a day. They go to New York three times a day. Uh, we have these smaller airplanes, those are general aviation airplanes. Um, so we have kind of a mix of that type of traffic here. Um, it's interesting, it's challenging, and that's what we as a controller love in our job.